We are now on question number seven, exercise 9.3, class ninth, chapter circle. Now, in this question, it says that the diagonals of a cyclic quadrilateral are diameters of the circle. Through the vertices of the quadrilateral, we have to prove this a rectangle. So, what we need to do is to make a diagram here. Let's say, first, for example, I made a circle first. And then I'm going to make a rectangle. Let's say... If I make a rectangle, now make sure uh, uh, it should look like a rectangle, although we are not going to consider this to be a rectangle. Right? It becomes easier to prove if you make the figure a rectangle. So I made it a rectangle and I named it as ABCD. Although I'm going to take this as a quadrilateral only. As for the question, it is a cyclic quadrilateral. And you know quadrilateral whose all four vertices or on the circle is called a cyclic quadrilateral. So let's see what we are going to do here. First of all, you need to keep in mind that we have to prove this figure as a rectangle and uh, a quadrilateral whose all four vertices are on the circle is called a cyclic quadrilateral. Now what I'm going to do is to join one of its diagonal. Let's say I'm going to join AC. Let's see if I join AC and BD both. I joined, let's say first I joined uh, BD only. Now what you can see that uh, this angle, that is uh, the angle here, I'm talking about this angle A, right? This is 90 degree. Why? Because angle in a semicircle is right angle. You should know that angle in a semicircle is right angle. Let's once again understand, since BC, BD is the diameter, therefore this is nothing but a semicircle and what we know that angle in a semicircle is a right angle so this will be 90 degree so we can write that is uh, angle d a b is equal to 90 degree likewise we can see there is a semicircle on the other side of this this is also a semicircle considering b d as the diameter so from the same reason we can say angle t c b is equal to 90 degree and the reason for this is angle in a semicircle a semicircle i mean angle in a semicircle is right angle now consider the other diagonal like say for example if i join AC here, the AC is also the diameter. Well, this is mentioned in the question, right? Here the diameters, the diagonals are diameters only. So that's the reason I'm saying that since AC is a diameter, again, this is a semicircle and angle in a semicircle is right angle. So that will be, therefore, angle B is, that is B, that means ABC here. That means angle A. B, C is equal to 90 degree. And finally, looking into this, considering the same diagonal, A, C, this time considering this semicircle, we can say this angle D will be 90 degree. Reason remains the same. This is angle A, D, C is equal to 90 degree. And you can write down the same reason for all parts. Now, here we can say, therefore, ABCD is a rectangle. And what reason you are going to write? Uh, since all interior angles, all interior angles of ABCD is 90 degree. This is all or each interior angles of this quadrilateral ABCD is 90 degree, therefore, it should be called as a rectangle. 